Day four of training camp here at the Scope. I'm joined by new Admirals forward Trevor Mangoya. Trevor, new to the team here. To just tell us a little bit about your style of play and what you bring to the team. Yeah, so uh, I think I play a pretty high tempo game. Um, I like to play with a lot of pace, push the pace, especially when I get the puck off transition. And uh, I like to shoot. I like to shoot the puck. I like to score. Um, I also like to set up my teammates too. So I like to play offense and I like to, uh, like to take care of my own end as well. Um, trying to get a lot better uh, on my defensive side of the game because that's huge at the next level and uh, it'll only help you. Last year, your first full year as a pro, what did you really learn about yourself and what did you kind of focus on to continue to get better? Um, you know, it's a lot different, obviously, coming from college. Uh, college, about a 40-game season turning into a 72-game season in the ECHL. Um, and I think the biggest thing was kind of just managing my time properly, um, you know, napping when I needed to nap, uh, eating the right things. That was huge. You know, your diet's absolutely massive when you're playing that many games, uh, practicing as much as you are. The travel's tough. Um, you know, I just uh, – learning about my game is mostly off the ice, I think, for me. Uh, at the beginning, my body was hurting pretty bad, and um, I was pushing a little bit too hard in practice and whatnot. And uh, towards the end, I kind of figured out how to be a pro a, a bit more, and uh, I think that helped me in the long run towards the end of the year. You mentioned you played college hockey, went to Providence, won a national title. What was it about the college route that led you to take that, coming from the USHL to college, as opposed to a different route? Yeah, I was uh, I was recruited by uh, Nate Lehman and Ben Barr, um, and they were just unbelievable people. Um, going through the whole process of, uh, of being recruited into college. And um, Providence College was uh, a place that was on the rise. Uh, they did a great job at letting me know about the players they were bringing in, who they had. And uh, you could see that they were moving in the right direction, so I wanted to be a part of that. And um, I didn't even have to take a visit to, to go there. Um, I just knew I wanted to play for those coaches, uh, that group of guys, and you know, obviously couldn't have worked out any better. You mentioned going back to you know what you really had to learn last year. You mentioned learning to become a pro this summer. A lot of time around pro hockey. I went to Nashville's camp, Milwaukee's camp. What was that experience like? Yeah, that was an amazing experience. Uh, getting around uh, guys like Scott Hartnell. Um, you know, guys have been around the league for you know 15 years, and uh, being a young guy, being in those uh, in those types of skates, uh, the energy, the pace, uh, those guys just know what to do all the time so you got to watch like even when you're not going in drills um just watch what they do and you pick up so many little things uh you know and it's it, it really helps your game a lot and it's as you get higher and higher in the levels it's the little things that separate you know from from making it so you really got to pay attention you got to take what you can from them and it was an incredible experience you played in this league last year first impressions of the team here in norfolk through four days good i thought we got a really good group of guys um you know, I was talking to my roommate, Angelo Michelli, who's been uh, my roommate here for about three weeks now. And uh, we got a good group of people here, which is great. And uh, the front staff and everybody has been really, really good to us as, uh, as far as, you know, coming in right away and uh, getting camp started. So uh, everything's been very positive. Everything off the ice, on the ice has been really good. All right, Trevor, thanks so much, guys. Training camp runs through Wednesday. Stay tuned to the Admiral's social media accounts for updates coming all week.